Now, the Legislative Assembly of Pakistan's Punjab will be meeting for the first time after elections later today. Now, the governor of Pakistan's most populous province, Mohammad Balagur Rahman, officially announced the Assembly's first session. The governor called the session only a day after the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz held a parliamentary party meeting. PMLN leader Mariam Nawaz Sharif is expected to take charge as the first female chief minister of the province. According to the official results, the PMLN emerged as the largest party in the Punjab Assembly in the 8th of February polls. Reports say the party is in a comfortable position to form the next provincial government after its parliamentary party meeting was attended by over 200 newly elected lawmakers. The party requires 186 members to form the government in Punjab. The PMLN that won 137 seats alone has been joined by uh, about two dozen independent members and is likely to bag a significant number of reserved seats. Imran Khan's PTI-backed independent candidates who won the elections have been asked by the party to attend Punjab Assembly's inaugural session. The party, which has alleged vote rigging in the polls, has claimed an electoral victory in the state. The party has asked such candidates who it says were deprived of their seats due to rigging to protest outside the assembly. PTI founder Imran Khan will reportedly write a letter to the International Monetary Fund asking it to stop their support for Pakistan over the rigged elections. PTI leaders say organizations like the IMF and the EU only give loans to democratic nations. And with elections being rigged, Pakistan cannot be considered one. The International Monetary Fund, however, has expressed willingness to work with the new Pakistani government, ignoring Imran Khan's demand to hold an audit of the election results before approving any new loan. In a related development, a former bureaucrat has withdrawn rigging allegations, saying Imran Khan party lured him into doing so. Leokat Ali Tata had alleged that 13 candidates from Rawal Pindi were forcefully declared winners in the elections. Tata has now withdrawn his allegations, saying that he made the rigging charges at the behest of PTI, which offered him a lucrative position. For latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.